How to use exit lag Using exit lag can help optimize your internet connection for gaming, reducing latency, and improving the overall experience. Now here is how we are going to use it. First things first, I want you to go ahead and click my account and then go ahead and click the register button in here. Now go ahead and fill in all the necessary details in here and go ahead and click create my account. Now if you want to have an access for 3 days free trial, I want you to go ahead and click the link located in the description box as well as in the comment section. So once you already have your own account, you're going to go ahead and click the download button in here. From this point forward, go ahead and click download exit lag. And then this time you're just going to go ahead and install this one. So you can do that by clicking this one here. And then basically you're just going to go ahead and follow through the prompt. Now in my case, I have already done that one. That's why I can just go ahead and open mine in here. So as of the moment, it is still analyzing the routes here. So we're just going to go ahead and wait for this one. All right, once I'm here, you can go ahead and click this one here. As you can see, this means that we have already enabled exit lag. Now from this point forward, we're going to go ahead and click the tools first here, and we're going to go ahead and change some settings in here. First things first, we have the general. Go ahead and click this one here to the language of your choice. So in my case, I'm definitely using English. And then we're going to go ahead and enable this one in order for it to start as soon as our Windows PC open. Next, we're going to go ahead and disable this one. And then this one, we're going to go ahead and enable high DPI scaling. This is very important, everybody. Now, for the packets redirection, just go ahead and use the automatic or the recommended one here. Now, for the accuracy in route optimization, you have to remember, says here, the higher the accuracy that exit lag will choose the best routes, but the optimization process will take longer. Don't worry about optimization taking longer because you want to have your best gaming experience. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is the protocol to analyze. We're going to change this one. We're going to go ahead and change this to UDP and TCP. So the next thing that we are going to do is disable allow dual routes. So basically, we just want to have one as much as possible and be focused in there. For high QoS or quality of service, Service, you're going to go ahead and enable this one and then for UDP you also want to enable that one because that is where most games are coming from now after doing that we're going to go ahead and click FPS boost and in this case we're just going to go ahead and enable a few things this one here so maximum processing priority for games define minimum processing priority for system services and we're going to go ahead and disable this one. We want to have as much power for our internet, so we're going to disable this one. And then we're going to go ahead and disable these few things here. Now, next thing is we're going to go to our traffic shaper, make sure that it is set to never limit, and then we're going to go to diagnostics. Now, here in the diagnostics, you can just go ahead and enable this one, and then you will be able to see here all of the pings that you are using. You have here average ping, minimum ping, maximum ping, last ping, and so on and so forth. So this is actually very important when you are gaming. So we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. Next, we're going to click home, and this time you're just going to go ahead and search for the game that you want to choose or you can also go ahead and click this one here and then you will be able to see here the browsers that you have or the browsers that you can use now click this once again and then you will be able to have here all the voice messaging applications that you have click this one again and then you will see launchers in here so just go ahead and add all the necessary ones that you have for example if i were to click games i can just go ahead and click this one here and now that i have clicked this one i'm going to go ahead and click the optimize button in here so we're just going to wait for this to be done. All right, once we are done, you will be redirected back here. Now we're going to go ahead and click the region here. And as you can see, we are now in Asia. So you can go ahead and set this for automatic. Or if you want, you can go ahead and choose between the options in here. But again, just go ahead and choose the automatic or the recommended. The next thing that we are going to do is basically click the advanced routes. And then make sure that you have set this to 2. All right, there you go. And we're going to apply that one. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click the apply button here and you are done. All right, there you go. As you can see, it is red right now means it is working. So you can go ahead and start using three kingdoms online in order for you to get started and notice the big difference in ping. And if you are interested in using exit lag, go ahead and click the link in the description box or the comment section for you to start with your three days of free trial. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.